Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and you're here to watch Yoda808, the strongest player by power, training for the eve of the Crusade Stage 2. This is where he's going to gem through literally 12,700,000 gems training troops. Now, this is in addition to using a bunch of speed-ups to train troops as well, and this is not the first time Yoda has done this. In fact, he sent me this footage several times when he trains like crazy. Now, for those of you that don't know, Yoda 808 is the strongest player by power in Rise of Kingdoms, and he joined our kingdom in 1254 and now is with us for our new project in 2605. In fact, he was one of the first guys to migrate over. Now, what do you even say about this amount of training? I don't know, man. I put this at 400x speed because I don't know if you wanted to watch like 30 minutes of smashing the gem button, but it actually takes a lot of time to spend 12 million, almost 13 million gems, which is a little nuts. By the way, if you like content around Yoda 808, the strongest player by power in Rise of Kingdoms, consider subscribing to the channel because I'm definitely looking forward to more crazy KVK action, which is going to happen soon. Tonight, I'm going to be entering into KVK and I'll be live streaming that, which should be a fun live stream. But let's get back to what's at hand, what's on screen. Yoda 808 was at about 1.5 billion power at the start of this training video, and now he's blasting through a ton of gems training cavalry. Now, this is going to switch gears a little bit pretty soon here, and the thing he's going to be training is archers. And if you haven't seen one of my gem videos before, there's something going on here you might not have noticed, which is that he's training exactly 1,403 troops. Why would you do that? Well, when you gem troops, the game will pick the biggest denomination of speed up possible that covers all of the training time that you're doing. But if you train slightly more than that amount of troops, it will take slightly longer than a day of time. So you end up buying a day worth of speed ups and a minute, okay? And it might seem silly, but that like extra minute costs you a lot of gems extra per troop. In fact, it's even more inefficient if you train the full 2,000 because you're buying one hour speed ups and minute speed ups. And the best way to do this is to put it in this one day increment so that when you smash the gem button, the game buys just a full one day speed up and you're good to go. That's the goal, okay? And you can literally just kind of move the slider around and see what happens to the gem count um, if you want to play around with this and kind of see what that looks like. Now, a part of what that number ultimately is going to be depends on uh, the buffs that you've got. And I think at this moment, Yoda's got Duke. He's obviously uh, Germany. And also, he's got a 10% training rune. I think that was the best that we had. There are, of course, other things that influence your training as well, like your holy sites. Uh, in just a second, I'm going to cut the video, by the way, uh, because... <laughs> I tried to trim down this training session as much as I could, but you can see his resources went way up, uh, and that's because he opened a bunch of resources in his bags. You do not want to be gemming the resources from this. You only want to be gemming the troop portion, okay? So he's back at it with the archers. Okay, so why cavalry and archers? I mean, obviously, cavalry are looking really good with the new cavalry commanders having just landed in the Mightiest Governor and the Wheel of Fortune. They should be here very soon. By the way, consider subscribing if you haven't already, because I will cover them as soon as they land in game and probably be maxing them, uh, if not myself, then showcasing someone who has the night that they arrive. Also, uh, the archers, why is that? Well, I think that the Queen Dido garrison is really good. And so I think stuffing a bunch of archers into that garrison is going to be a really good play in this KVK in particular. Now, of course, we're entering into Warriors Unbound. And Warriors Unbound is unusual. You get an item that lets you switch all instances of text relating to one troop type to your desired troop type. So I'll get like an infantry item, because I'm an infantry simp, obviously. And I could put that on Nevsky. And everywhere it says cavalry on his skills, it will now do infantry stats, which is kind of cool. So I definitely look forward to... Uh, using some number of, uh, I don't know, non-infantry commanders as infantry. That's definitely what I'm going to do. Now he's back on cavalry, by the way. He's down to 2 million gems. 
one million gems. Uh, he's up over a hundred million power, which again, this whole thing is really insane when you think about the scale of what he's doing, especially because he basically zeroed his gems for the last eve of the crusade. I want you to think about that. He zeroed his speed ups and gems for the last eve of the crusade, bought bundles to have enough speed ups to field fight, and got back up to 12 million gems in order to gem here in his very next KVK, which is impressive. You can see that gem count dropping pretty precipitously now on his way down to almost zero gems. And it's almost, dude, it's almost a little offensive that when he gets down to like zero gems, the game's like, oh, you, you're so gem broke. Go purchase gems, which you'll see pop up on the screen in a second. Anyways, here we are now back at real time speed. Yoda 808 at 1.624 billion power he is in first place for the eve of the crusade at 300 and i think 7 million points and that did propel us temporarily anyways into first place for eve of the crusade but let me jump in game and show you where we're at now because it's been a really difficult battle uh trying to maintain this rank with marauder forts and i believe we have now dropped into second Despite really, I mean, I have not seen so many Marauders rallied in a very long time. Let's jump in game. Okay, here we are with the Eve of the Crusade scores, and our kingdom did get bumped down to second place. It is not surprising that 846, which is one of the largest kingdoms in the game, uh, was able to sort of make up that gap in points. I'm pretty impressed that we were able to get second. I'm pretty happy with that result overall. Of course, you'd rather have first. But I think we've been rallying, honestly, like a ton of forts. We'll have to do some analysis afterwards. But I think at the end of the day, when you've got one to two alliances worth of players above another kingdom, yeah, I mean, you could pull down a lot of a lot of extra forts here. And that's not excuses, but I think the difference comes in several ways. First of all, you have the main accounts rallying forts. But more importantly, you have all of the farms of all of those players also rallying forts. So congratulations to 846 on a really impressive push here to get ahead of us. They are going to have to keep rallying forts to maintain this, which they could do. I mean, if they continue at their current pace, right, they'll make this gap wider. Uh, but if they don't, then we may catch them. So we'll see exactly what that race looks like tonight. I'll be live streaming. Uh, my screen is now flashing because I'm getting reinforced for a rally. I should have turned off Flickr before I hit record, but whatever. Um, like I said, I'm pretty happy with the volume of forts we've been running. I think I got in the realm of 12, at least, of these treasures of purple crystal in the last 24 hours. But, like, literally, like, 12 of these bad boys. We also have a holiday event running, but, like, dude, we, we, I've, I have not seen so many Marauder Encampment loot crates in a very long time so if you enjoyed the vid do me a favor throw a like on here consider subscribing uh we are now up to 17 and a half billion power at about a trillion kill points for uh the smash squad in 2605 really hyped to enter into this kvk and see how hard we can actually punch and i hope you'll join my live streams to watch it all happen if you want to see other videos about yoda 808 the strongest player by power Cards will be in the end screen where we've reviewed his account a couple times, or I can even show when he's gemmed in the past. And I got to give a big thank you again to Yoda808 for sending footage like this to make this possible. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Drop that hype in the chat for Yoda. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.